Hello, my beautiful Virgos. My name is Jennifer from JenniferWalkerson.com. Here to bring you your monthly love forecast for what is your love interest, the one you're here for, the one you want to know about. What do they secretly want to tell you for the month of July? So this is going to be for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. And guys, if you'd like a personal read with me, go to my website, JenniferWalkerson.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so let's jump right in. My Virgos, love interest. You really want to tell my Virgos. What need to see? What do need to see? What does my Virgos love interest secretly want to tell my Virgo? Let's see, show my cards. I need to see. Let's see. My Virgos, love, and true secret. I need to tell my Virgos. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Okay, feels good. So in the current situation, they want to tell you that they want some type of freedom or they want space here with the freedom card. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And they, uh, they want to tell you that they want to be wise in their decision making when it comes to long term commitments. Uh, they want to use their uh, life experiences and they, they, they have a sense that they want to be wise in their decision making. And they want to take a leadership role around this. And they want to tell you that there is some stress or anxiety here with the mice card energy that they're dealing with or there's something uh, to do with something that's eating away at them because they want to be wise in their decision making when it comes to long-term commitments and they want some freedoms or they want some kind of space around that. Okay, so what is the blockage here? Um, it's seeing it from a lighthearted perspective or uh, a, a, an optimistic way, right, with the humor card. Um, or there's a sense that someone's not taking things so seriously with the humor card being there. And there's some deep, heavy soul searching going on about things with the uh, hermit card energy. So there is a lot of analyzing, thinking, contemplating. There's a person that's like isolating themselves, separating themselves to do that. Because of a want for some kind of improvement and change or migration here. So that seems to be the blockage. It's like uh, there is a person that's like, all right, I'm trying to isolate and separate from the situation because I want to analyze, I want to think about things, I want to contemplate things, I want improvement, I want change, I want to be optimistic about things. Um, that is the blockage here. So at the foundation, there is some adversities or some challenges here. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So some challenges or some adversities involved in the situation at the foundation of the matter. And the Knight of Swords can be speaking of uh, a person that's like, you know what, I need some things cut away or cut out, or there are some arguments, or there are some harsh words. Um, you know, the Knight of Swords, when it comes at you, it's like the person doesn't exactly, uh, they're not very political and they are not very choosing of their words, it just comes out. So uh, that's the Knight of Swords, but there's something to do with luck or something to do with risk here with the Clover Card energy. So. At the foundation of the matter, it seems to be that there are some adversities or some challenges that somebody wants cut away or cut out, and they want luck to be on their side. Uh, they want things to move in their favor with the clover card energy, uh, or they feel that there is luck with a catch around the situation. So it's like, I love my hair, but I don't like the length, you know, that type of energy. So it's like there's uh, adversities that this person wants cut away or cut out. So in the past, there seemed to be a lot of regret. There was a lot of things that were regretful in the past. I know I cannot change the past. And it was about putting work or effort into this uh, situation here. So there seemed to be regret about putting work or effort into a situation uh, pertaining to wishes and hopes here. So there was regrets about work, school, apprenticeship here, or making a decision to put work or effort into uh, something to do with work uh, or optimism or hope or wishes. So there was a, uh, a regret about wishes, uh, wishful thinking, uh, that could be the star card energy, and also, of course, putting the work or effort into it. Okay, so at the head of the matter, 
There seems to be abundance or a focus on abundance and love. That's like the Empress card energy. I am an unlimited being and can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. So it seems like the focus seems to be on abundance or love and abundance or like the Empress card energy. And the world card represents travel or accomplishment or completion or wanting something to come back around to be completed. And letter card shows some kind of official document or letter or message. So it seems like the blockage seems to be that someone's trying to see it from an optimistic way and they are trying or there's there needs to be more of an optimistic viewpoint about this and there seems to be some deep heavy soul searching about change or improvement or migration and there seems to be at the foundation some adversities that uh, somebody wants to cut away or cut out and they want luck to be on their side so the head of the matter seems to be focused on abundance completing things accomplishing things and letters messages and news news here with the letter card so um, what's gonna happen in the near future as far as they what they want to tell you pride um, so it's a lot about pride here I love myself and I see myself in everyone so it's a lot about self-respect and pride coming up in the f near future and a message of love or new path in love that they want to take and a focus on happiness here with the sun card energy so uh, it seems like they want to tell you that they want to focus on their pride on their self-respect and they want to take a new path when it comes to love or a message of love and they want to focus on happiness here or something to do with their happiness so how do they see you so they see that they they see you as uh, someone is who is in denial. Um, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. So they have a sense that you're in denial of what, of happiness, material abundance, luck. So they're they're having a sense that you're in denial about what you're what makes you happy, and. Um, maybe you're not coming across maybe they feel like you're not you're not speaking or talking about what makes you happy so they have a sense that maybe you're in denial about what makes you happy um, and uh, maybe that you're not talking or speaking about those things with the with the birds card energy or something to do with talking and speaking about it so let's see what how they feel about you hmm they have a sense of fear actually they fear they they are feeling like there's fear around the situation. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So they, they're they fearing things. They're, their feelings are fear, of fear, of what? Of holding on for a short success. So they, they're stressing about this relationship, this connection, uh, because they just want to hold on for a short success. What does that mean? They want to hold on to the idea, the person, and they want things to work out for Pentacles energy. And they have attraction here, or they have appreciation here with the bouquet card. So um, they do want to hold on to the situation. They're having stress about it, about holding on for success. And they feel like they want appreciation. They feel like there's attraction here with the bouquet card. They feel like something was unexpected about the whole situation or a surprise to them with the bouquet card energy. Okay, so what's the influence here? Courage having courage and strength and confidence right that's like the strength card energy the influence seems to be I find the inner strength to face fears with confidence so it's uh, the issue is about courage and confidence so the influence being in this situation is about the fact that this person wants to gain courage or confidence around the situation and nine of pentacles there seems to be a bit of self focus or focus on money or pentacles here because we see the abundance card so this person is trying to gain the courage and strength because of the fact that they feel isolated or separated or there seems to be some self-focus going on here with the Knight of Pentacles energy. And this is causing some hurt or pain here with the Whip card energy or there's something repetitive about something. And nine is about wishes being fulfilled in the situation, right? So let's see what your advice is. Okay, it's not time to blame. So not focusing on blame. Accepting responsibility for well-being and being patient. I accept that everything happens in divine order. And happiness, focusing on happiness. So not focusing on blame around the situation, but accepting responsibility for your well-being and being patient about that and focusing on just happiness. I'm aware that uh, being happy 
means that I am on the right path. So focusing on happiness is bringing you to the right path, not focusing on blame, but being patient around the situation. And the Fox card energy is being honest. Fox card or using your wits. The community card or the garden card, I don't know, the garden card actually for, is actually a group of people. It's community. It's socializing. So being honest about something to do with more than one choice or option. Being honest about socializing. Being honest about family or friends or influence of people. And being committed to the situation. Committed to what? Committed to happiness. So being honest about commitments, engagements, and marriages and something to do with family or being committed to something to do with family or friends or socializing or being honest about more than one choice or option pertaining to a commitment or the influence of other people pertaining to the commitment with a ring card energy and being committed to what happiness and being patient when it comes to socializing people family and being honest about something to do with blame or not wanting uh, to, to, to lay blame on the situation. Okay. All right, my Virgos, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you'd like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com or check out the description box below. I love you guys so much and have a great rest of your month.